क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 4 व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेट वेरिएबल मॉडल now in this question a transfer function is given and using that transfer function we are going to obtain state variable model that is input state variable model or equation and output state variable model and equation so let's go through the question first and then we'll move on to solution problem number 4 obtain the state variable model of a transfer function as i said the transfer function is given y of s by u of s equals to 3s plus 4 and in denominator we have s square plus 5s plus 6 now one thing is mentioned input here u y of s and u of s is given but input is missing so we will substitute input value in this function or you can say on left hand side so we'll see how to substitute that value on left hand side now look at here on left hand side we have y of s by u of s now here the input value is missing so let's say my input is x1 of s so we will multiply and divide the left hand side by x1 of s now what i'm going to do i'll keep one x1 of s in the denominator of y of s and x1 of s the second one which is divided by u of s so in exam also what you have to do just keep one x1 of s in the denominator of u of s and one more uh, that is x1 of s that you are going to keep on the numerator of u of s and i will substitute my right hand side value as it is now we are going to compare y of s by x1 of s and x1 of s by u of s with right hand side that is 3s by plus 4 upon s square plus 5s plus 6 now I'll consider my y of s by x one of s is three s plus four because if I multiply this x one of s on right hand side, then this three s plus four will be multiplied with x one of s. Then you will get the answer of y of s that is output equation with respect to input. As well as I'll keep x one of s by u of s equals to one upon s square plus five s plus six. So that if I multiply cross multiply, if I do the cross multiplication, then you will get u of s equation which is x1 of s is multiplied with this whole denominator so you can obtain the input state variable matrix and output state variable matrix depends on or using this multiplication or solution so what i said i'll compare y of s by x1 of s with numerator and x1 of s and u of s with the denominator now i will solve the input part first because from this input part you will get the state variables and we will use the same state variable and that will be used in output equation now look at here i'm going to solve this x1 of s by u of s so that you will get the state variable model or input state variable model so just do the cross multiplication so x1 of s multiplied with this whole denominator and u of s is multiplied with the one so i will multiply this x1 of s with each and every term of denominator now i'm going to apply inverse laplace transform on this equation so that you will get answer but in differentiation form or you can say that you will get differential equation but in time domain so look at here here we have a second order so i can say that Up by applying or after applying inverse Laplace transform, you will get equation in x one of t, but it is having a double order of differentiation. So we can represent or we can express the double order by double dash. And the x one of s we have, so we can write x one of t. Next, here the five is constant. Now here the s to the power we have one. So after applying inverse Laplace transform, you will get only single degree of differentiation and the last one 6 is a constant x1 of s is inverse laplace is x1 of t and i'm going to equate with this u of s which is so inverse laplace of u of s is simply u of t now 
I'm going to replace all these differential equations values by state variables. So first of all, here the highest degree of differentiation is 2, which means I can use two state variables. So we will use two state variables. So let's say my state variables are z1 of t and z2 of t. So I'm going to substitute my z1 of t and z2 of t value that is two variable or two state variable in this equation. Now this is my input state variable equation or model. So according to this we are going to replace all the differential values by the state variables. So first of all let I'm going to substitute my sub first state variable value that is z1 of t which is equals to x1 of t. Now I'm going to apply a differentiation or you can say we'll differentiate both the sides with respect to time t. So if I want to differentiate this x1 of t then we can represent or we can express this x1 of t by x1 dash of t or else you can write x1 dot of t. So as as I said we are going to differentiate both the sides so we can write this z1 by z1 dash of t. But look at here we can differentiate state variable max to max up to 1. So here I am going to substitute a second state variable that is z2 of t. So if we want to differentiate this x1 of t once again then we cannot differentiate z1 of t. We can directly differentiate z2 of t. That's why I have substituted this z2 of t over here. Now, I am going to obtain equation for x1 double dash of t. So look at here, this is my x1 dash of t equation. Now what I said, I want to obtain x1 dash of t or double dash of t equation. So we will shift all this part on right hand side. Now, just do one thing, look at here, on the left hand side we are going to keep highest degree of differentiation of state variable which is 1 and on right hand side we are going to substitute all the differential equations by simple form of state variables. So on left hand side we are going to keep highest value of state variable differentiation. So x1 double dash of t that we have substituted or we have equaled with the z2 dash of t. So we will substitute this x1 double dash of t by z2 of t. Now, so on left hand side we have got the first degree of that is highest degree of differentiation of state variable. But on right hand side we are going to keep only the simple values of state variables. So first of all u of t is a input so we will write it as it is now. Look at here x1 of t. Basically x1 of t is replaced by a simple value z1 of t. Similarly x1 dash of t is replaced by a simple state variable that is z2 of t. Now we are going to form the state variable matrix or input state variable matrix. So on left hand side we are going to keep or we are going to write only the first degree of differentiation of state variables. So we have basically two state variables So this is the first column. Now we are going to form matrix E. But the values of matrix A is completely depends on state variable values which is occurred or which comes in the equation of z1 dash of t and z2 dash of t. So first of all how many state variables we have that we have a two state variables. So we will write Now the next block is for input that is u of t which means here also we are going to find out u of t value which will be occurred or which will be present in the equation of z1 dash of t and z2 dash of t. So let's see what are the values of z1 and z2 and u of t in 
z1 of dash of t equation and z2 dash of t equation so first of all in z1 dash of t equation where you will get z1 dash of t equation you will get z1 dash of t equation over here as well as over here so just find out where you will get z1 dash of t equation we have a z1 dash of t equation over here and in z1 dash of t we have a value of z2 of t only so z1 of t and u of t is missing so we'll write the coefficient of z1 of t is 0 because 0 into z1 is 0 as well as u of t is also 0 only z2 of t value is there and its coefficient or, or the multiplied value is 1 so we'll write oh, 1 only now similarly we are going to find out z1 of t z2 of t and u of t value but where in z2 dash of t so where you will get z2 dash of t equation here you will get z2 dash of t equation so in this equation my u of t value is 1 my z1 of t value is minus 6 and my z2 of t value is minus 5 so we'll write minus 6 and then minus 5 so this is the input state variable model now we are going to obtain output state variable model now this is the output state variable model equation and we have already obtained the y of s by x1 of s value which is 3s by plus 4 now just multiply this x1 of s on right hand side you will get y of s equals to now what is the next step just apply inverse laplace transform on both the sides so what you will get y of s is nothing but y of t similarly 3 is a constant and we have s into x1 of s here the degree of s is 1 or the order of the s is 1 so after taking inverse laplace transform of s into x1 of s you will get the differentiation of x1 of t and the degree of differentiation is only 1 now the next constant is 4 and here we have x1 of s so inverse laplace is x1 of t only now here also I'm going to substitute values of state variables. The first value of x1 of t is now look at here. Here we are going to substitute the normalized values of state variables. So just look at here x1 of t we have and x1 dash of t we have. Now just compare x1 of t and x1 dash of t equations with the substitution that we have done on last page. I'll show you what are the values of x1 of t and x1 dash of t. Now look at here x1 of t is replaced by or you can replace it by z1 of t which is the normalized value of z1 or state variables as well as x1 dash of t you can replace it by z2 of t so i'm going to replace x1 of t by z1 and x1 dash of t by z2 so look at here i have replaced all the x1 dash of t and x1 of t by the normalized values of state variable now i'm going to find out the state variable output state variable matrix or model so first of all this is our y of t next is my c matrix which is having one row and two columns then i'm going to form a matrix of x of t that is a state variable here we have two state variables so we will draw a single column two rows matrix and at the end one cross one matrix and which is multiplied by u of t I have directly written here 0 because I am going to find out u of t value in y of t equation. But in y of t equation u of t is missing that's why I have already write, written 0 over there. Now just compare z1 of t and z2 of t value or just find out z1 of t and z2 of t value from y of t equation. The y of t equation here z1 of coefficient is 4 and z2 coefficient is 3. So we will write here 4 and 3. So this is our output state variable matrix. So this is how we are going to obtain a state variable matrix from transfer function. So in first two videos in question basically differential equation is given and in next two videos that is in problem number three and problem number four a transfer function is given. Now you have got the idea how to obtain state variable model using differential equation also as well as using transfer function also. So in next video that is in problem number 5 we are going to study how to obtain transfer function but using state variable model which means I am going to perform the reverse operation. Here you have calculated state variable model using transfer function 
So in next two numericals we will study how to obtain transfer function but by using state variable model. So for that stay tuned to EKDA and subscribe to EKDA for further more videos. Thank you so much.